Hello everybody, welcome to my studio and this presentation on cityscapes. I have um, several of my cityscapes and townscapes around here, so it's a, uh, a presentation on the art of uh, American cities. And um, I'm just finishing up this one here. I'm not going to tell you the city, <laughs> see if, you've, uh, if you recognize it. Uh, it's somewhere within uh, uh, my general uh, ambit of, uh, of uh, traveling in the Northeast. <laughs> But I, I love this scene, <clears throat> I painted it uh, several other times uh, just because of this variety of churches and, and it has this uh, reflected uh, cityscape in it too. I've done several uh, of this scene and others. If you uh, look down here, I will tell you this one. This is uh, Philadelphia. So I've had this series going of, uh, of cityscapes, including reflections. And uh, they sort of open it up to be like a triptych or apolyptic. Each window of any given scene becomes a little painting in itself. So um, it's uh, kind of like having a triptych within a painting. Um, so I'm going to explain about this one on my easel here. And it's an, a, a, uh, an example of um, one point perspective. I guess it could be extended to two, but uh, when I started, I'm going to show you a a photograph later, but the vanishing point is right about here, and I had an X marked on, on the canvas here when I started. And the reason that's important is to have all these, uh, they're called orthogonal lines, all converging to the vanishing point. And it's right about, um, it's also called the eye level, or well, the vanishing point is coincident with the eye level, and the eye level going across here. You can see this um, line on the church here that's going pretty much horizontal. and. Uh, I probably stood just a few inches above the roof of this car. That's why you can see part of the top of the car and these figures uh, that I sort of invented and just because I wanted to have the uh, human element to, to indicate scale and uh, just to show the uh, relationship of the architectural elements and the, uh, and the people. And uh, so what I was doing here when you just first saw me, I was doing these uh, cast shadows from the trees over here, but I'm going to do uh, something else here. I'm going to move to the uh, curb and uh, mix up a little bit of uh, running out of paint here, but uh, there it is. I just wanted a little bit warmer of a gray color right on this curb here. I just wanted to uh, lighten that up a, a tad. And uh, if you notice right here, I, I used a um, kind of a burnt sienna undertone and you can see it kind of bleeding through in certain places. And I kind of like that uh, effect. It just kind of adds a little uh, uh, richness and variety. I'll point another thing out here. I, I often leave the uh, drawing lines in here rather than uh, uh, blending them. Uh, where else would I have it? Well, there's sort of visible various, various places up here in the houses. You can kind of see the, the drawing lines and I kind of kind of like to uh, leave those in. Um, so I probably have a little bit of work to do and I've uh, edited some, taken out some things and added a few things. So taking the initial inspiration and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of the sky here. Test, it's a little too light. I need a little bit darker color there. And part of what I'm doing is uh, softening edges and uh, and but also increasing contrast between the sky and the uh, and the clouds the clouds were more or less invented too i have fun inventing clouds and, uh, and sort of how the uh, cloud perspective um, augments the uh, the uh, perspective of the street scene of the linear perspective so this is a, a perspective of clouds one of the hardest things to do is these darn uh, wires, <laughs> and they have their own perspectives. They're all, but they're going a little bit uh, different according to the to the uh, poles, and then the poles are kind of different verticals just because of the tilt of the pole. And the light direction is a, a main thing here. That's bringing out the contrast. But we have these cast shadows of the cars and of the of the figures. And it reminds me of a, a class in art school. They had a special uh, class called Mind Created Figure and then inventing the shadows just by the, um, the position of the, of the figure. So I, I kind of uh, 
I was just guesstimating or estimating how the uh, cast shadow is going to go. Okay, so <clears throat> maybe you've determined where this cityscape is. <laughs> My little uh, quiz for you. Okay, but I'm going to explain about some of the other paintings here. And uh, this one over here is a, a townscape of uh, Stonington, Maine. It's a town that we've visited uh, many times. I usually go up there once a year to do uh, plein air paintings. Um, the ones that you've seen here so far are all uh, studio paintings done from photographs and, uh, and but based on plein air paintings. In other words, I did a plein air painting of this, uh, of this townscape here in Stonington. And then if you um, look over here at these two, let's start here with this one. This is a different type. This is a nocturne in, um, near Philadelphia in a suburb called uh, Manion, Pennsylvania. And I just love this old scene. And I did it during the uh, Wayne Plein Air, or after the Wayne Plein Air Festival. And this one on the floor here is the same as Street Corner. And this one was done Plein Air. In fact, it won a painting for the best um, rainy day uh, scene. And it, uh, it was done in the rain, but it was under a bridge there. And then and this one up here is one that's been on uh, the cover of the Ithaca Times. It's a street scene here in Ithaca. It's called uh, a street corner called Inspire, kind of a take on the um, on the play uh, the streetcar, a streetcar called Desire. And uh, I'll just point out some of the perspective things on this one. Uh, there's one perspective going back here, and you'll see a self-portrait up here if you want to come in on that. It's uh, I did it from a photograph that I took. You can see me holding my phone there. But this these two people here are, are a father and son friend of mine and they recognized the, uh, uh, but it also has another um, odd thing over here is uh, it's this building this whole row of, of houses on the street is um, lined up on a different angle so the perspective there is going a little different this house is tilted but these lines these orthogonals go back to a, a vanishing point somewhere I guess it would be right about where my phone is because that's going to be where all these orthogonals are going to lead Okay, and um, I think that, oh, this one here of, um, of New York City will be the last one that I'll talk about. Uh, uh, it's right in front of the Metropolitan Museum in New York City, and uh, the light is the main uh, actor here, this late um, afternoon light on a winter day. And, uh, of course, it does have perspective here, too, and the, the vanishing point is right about up here. Okay, now if you come over here, we'll finish up with uh, how the painting started. And uh, this is the drawing, as you can see, it's on this kind of burnt sienna um, uh, tone, this tint to the canvas. And uh, the vanishing point's been marked out there. Maybe you can see it, there's an X up there on the uh, left. If you can't, uh, just trust me. <laughs> okay, all right, so that uh, completes this uh, little, um, video presentation and I wanted to, uh, this is kind of a teaser because I have these full length uh, videos on various subjects. I just have a new one that came out on the Susquehanna River. Um, if you wanted to go into uh, different types of painting in depth, uh, you can look on the uh, North Star Art Gallery website, which is northstarartgallery.com or my own website, briankeeler.com. It has a complete list of the uh, of these full length DVDs so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, happy painting or happy looking at art wherever you may be okay thanks a lot